Hello and welcome to Living Room Chats. I'm Vivian Silo. Please uh, welcome to my living room and come sit down and let's have a chat. Uh, today we are going to have um, PG Tips Tea. Uh, it's uh, they're very popular in the UK and it was a sweet uh, British friend of mine who gave it to me recently and uh, just if you're out there, uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to have it the British way, which means it's with milk. Okay, so we're gonna add a little milk to it. And of course we don't stir it. We just go back in, in front and that's all. Mm, excellent. Thank you, it's delicious. So, believe it or not, we're going to uh, conclude with chapter 10 in the motherhood section today, Cultivating Roses. So this is, um, I'm just gonna read some of the highlights as I share lots of reminders. <laughs> uh, chapter 10, reminders and tips when raising your children. Finally, brothers and sisters, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Philippians 4, 8. I just love this Bible verse. Uh, it helps renew my mind to think about good things and not the bad things of the world. As a parent, you will be your child's role model. Though no parent is perfect, as a mother, you can be the best parent possible for your children. As you watch your child grow and develop, you can help him or her build the building blocks for life. Start by showing your children love every day with hugs and kisses. Start by showing your children love every day with hugs and kisses and tell them you love them and what um, that they are beautiful and special because they are created in the image of God. Let them know God has blessed them with a good purpose and with gifts, skills, and talents to use in their lives for his glory. Teach your child to pray to God and say simple prayers, asking God for his blessing and his help and thanking him for each day. According to the rage level, talk about, um, uh, talk to your children in positive ways about the beautiful and wonderful world you live in and how God is the creator and artist of it all, which gives them glory. Speak kindness and truth into their lives. Teach them to think and speak positively to others and also very important to themselves as well. And I go on with, you know, not ridiculing your children, it lowers their self-esteem and all kinds of other things. Um, and so of course, being a good listener and um, that let your children know that as their parent, you are always there for them to encourage them and support them. Always answer your children's questions patiently without criticizing them and never put them down. Every question a child ask is important to them. Most school teachers believe there are no dumb questions. This is so true. As it is best to clear your mind of doubts by asking for answers. So whatever your child may ask you, please answer them until other doubts leave their mind <laughs> and they understand fully. Teach your children to make decisions and try to make good choices from a young age. Uh, ask them to choose between one or two outfits, you know, and then, you know, as they're young, you can ask them to choose between two outfits and then, uh, you know, for breakfast, what would they like, you know, scrambled eggs, eggs over easy, white toast, uh, whole wheat toast, roll, whatever, so that they can begin uh, making their own little decisions. And as they grow older, they will make more of their preference. <laughs> so, uh, Support to your children and build them up to be confident from young 
a young age, which will help lead them into their preteen and teenage years and beyond. And so, um, let's see. Uh, as they grow older, keep a mason jar. I did this with my children. Uh, they enjoyed that uh, greatly. Uh, for whatever, you know, whenever they get good grades, I would put, you know, marble into the mason jar, whatever they did right, uh, you know, help in the house, I would put, you know, a, a marble in each of the mason jars. And so by the end of the month, you know, we would, I would treat them to, you know, movie, uh, ice cream, frozen yogurt, you know, restaurant, whatever they would like. And then as they grew older, then they made their own choices, you know, and, uh, their treats so that was really fun uh, and then um, and then another fun encouraging idea is the day before school year begins is to bake a cake or cupcakes and that was always so much fun as you know they were growing up and uh, have a mini uh, back to school celebration so take pictures and make school year photo album for each of the, uh, your children to have and to keep in their bedroom with all of your special events they experience and they will love seeing photos with teachers, classmates, and friends. As part of the celebration, pray with your children, asking God to bless them with a successful school year. Pray for each of their teachers as well. And this will help your uh, child, children, connect with their school and teachers. Uh, and uh, this is also good uh, for homeschoolers as well. So, um, Pray for your children each day and say uh, your goodnight prayers after reading a storybook with them. They love reading story time, you know, storybooks before bedtime. And you can make that a good habit. And uh, children love having daily routines. And this is how they develop and grow. Praise them when they do something right and let them know when they did something wrong. And as they grow, they need to uh, learn responsibility and face the consequences of their actions. Uh, you can begin by teaching them housekeeping skills by putting toys and books in their bin or basket and helping to set the table. Uh, of course, dressing up in fairy, you know, tail costumes and all of that. And uh, be a fun parent with your children. Spend quality time together each day. Play board games and read uh, favorite books aloud together. Play all your books, watch classic children's movies, dance with them, do their favorite music, and play your favorite songs so they can get to know your generation's music too. And they actually, I uh, did this with my children and they uh, both loved my music as well. <laughs> uh, ask your children to help you plan their birthday party among small um, uh, friends, you know, small group of family and friends. Uh, go places together as a family your favorite outdoor places such as the zoo, the beach, amusement parks, local parks, and children's museums. If you live in a cooler northern state, hello, northern friends. <laughs> um, go on a hiking trail, visit a waterfall or uh, some caverns, uh, enjoy the autumn leaves, and go apple picking. Each year, travel to your favorite places on summer vacations and make wonderful family memories together. On Sundays, take your children to church. Let them know God is above all things in life. And they will learn to worship the Lord both at home and at church. Children are the hope of the future because they will be tomorrow's leaders. And that is why it is important to mold them and train them in the right direction. Most of all, pray daily for your children. Pray God blesses, protects, and guides your children into the people he created them to be. As parents, the most important thing we can do is read to our children early and often. Reading is the path to success in school and life. When children learn to love books, they learn to love learning. Uh, Laura Bush, former First Lady of the United States. Cultivating Roses, Chapter 10, the last chapter in the motherhood section. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.